Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest. And today we're taking a look at Tommy, a brand new project that has just dropped on coin market cap. Is it a scam or is it legit? That's the question that we are trying to answer, right? So first of all, we just go onto their website. We do see that um, they're talking about free speech, right? So alternative internet controlled by the con community designed to promote free speech, right? Free world. I did go and check out the white paper. It's quite extensive. It's quite decent. About 22 pages available. Remember, whenever you see a white paper that is like less, 10, like 10 pages or less, Right, it's more of a marketing paper and not a white paper. But you do see they did put some uh, effort into their white paper. Right, it does look quite decent. Right, so I am happy with the white paper. Right, uh, and I did check the website. So there are multiple things here that are, that they've got going, which is Web3, uh, TDNS, the browser, DAO. Right, uh, so they're saying this is going to be controlled by a DAO. But be careful when it comes to DAOs because there the are wallets that has got a large number of tokens, coins, right? They can influence the vote in the way that they want. We saw this happening with Luna, right? So you always have to be careful with DAOs and, uh, and so on, right? So when you're doing your research, uh, just combine everything that you see about the project and make a decision. I'm just letting you know some of the things that I check uh, when I see an interesting project that I might be considering to invest in, right? So if we jump on coin market cap, we do see one of the most important things that you always have to check, right? We see since launch, the price has gone up by 24%. Obviously, the market is bullish right now. Crypto is bullish. And I always like to go to markets to see where they are listed, right? So you do see that they are listed on two exchanges, Get.io and Max. And it's very important for us to analyze uh, the markets where the coin is listed, the reason for that is these exchanges, Get.io and Max, it's not very difficult for you to be listed on them. It is relatively, it is not easy, but it's not very difficult because these exchanges make a, a huge good amount of revenue from listing projects, right? Unlike the bigger exchanges, because if you just jump on coin market cap, you can just take a look at Get.io, right? Look at how, the amount of coins that they've got listed on their exchange. They've got about 1,500 coins, right? And then if you also go and check out uh, Max, right? I think I saw Max somewhere here. They, Max, you see they've got about 1,400 coins listed. That's a lot of coins. So they make most of their revenue with project listings. Unlike the big exchanges like Binance, they only got about 383 uh, coins and that's the biggest exchange in the world, right? We've got coin uh, base exchange only 237 220 for Kraken, right? And you see here Bitstamp only 72. So you get the picture. OKX 357. So it's not relatively hard to be listed on these exchanges. So uh, that's one of the key points that you will see the community say we are listed on Gear.io, we are listed on Max, right? So it's not very difficult for you to be listed on these two exchanges. So that's one highlight that we see. But I think there are going to be more exchanges, exchange listings in the future, right? So one of the things that I just want to say right off the bat, uh, I did take a look at the contract, right? It is a proxy contract, obviously. Um, if you just check here, right, it is a proxy contract, which means. Functionality can be changed. A lot of things can happen. But some of the highlights are, if you look at the 10 top holders, the top, the two wallets that are holding uh, the most coins, they're holding about 63% of the coins in the project, right? The top two wallets here, you see 63%. Uh, that's a very important metric for you that you just have to keep in mind. But this is nothing new. We see it with almost every project. There are always wallets that are holding uh, a lot of coins, right? Right, and uh, it also does seem here that uh, more coins can actually be minted for this one, right? Um, because if you check here, uh, it, it just got listed, so there isn't a lot of data at the moment, right? Uh, so, but one of the things that I'll say about this project is if you are interested in in um, investing into Tommy, like I always say, wait at least between four to eight weeks. And then just watch what is happening. Get into the community. Get into the Telegram. Uh, watch their, their their Twitter and all. That. I know it is a lot of work, but in crypto, with what has happened lately, I think it's worth it to do that, right? Because you don't want to just jump in at the beginning, right? And the price 
uh, drops and then you experience a token dump right uh, the people behind the contract can sell a lot of coins because maybe they need money to develop the projects and all that that's part of investment right so if you invest into something right uh, that money that you've invested can be used to develop that investment to see a vision whether or not it's going to be pro a profitable investment no one really knows you just have to check okay this is the vision that they have is the team competent are they able to do it who's behind it and all of that right so one of the things that i can definitely say for this one is at the moment it's not looking like a scam right it's not looking like a scam of course there are those two wallets that are holding those uh, amount of coins that we've seen here 63 percent that's something that you should definitely not if you're planning to invest into this one and also just uh, continuously watch these wallets right what is happening with them right and um uh, the other thing is they are listed of course on the two exchanges uh get io and uh, max uh, but those exchanges remember it's not very difficult to be listed on those exchanges they make most of their revenue from coin listings unlike the other uh, top exchanges like binance coinbase pro kraken they make most of their revenue by trading so they want your project to have a lot of people who are uh, who've purchased the coins who are trading you know buying and selling because that's how they make mo uh, most of their revenue with the fees that you are charged for each and every trade right so for me this one if you want to invest into it wait at least four weeks watch what happens with the market right uh get acquainted and intimate with the community twitter uh just check it out we can just quickly go uh check it out the twitter and all of that right you can see uh, that the listing price was around 0.22 right and now uh it's around 0.42 that's the high that it actually did reach right here right so if you had bought here you'd have experienced almost like a 1x right uh right here 2x right uh you've experienced here uh, but definitely the market uh, the crypto market is bullish right now so this is an interesting project i'm just going to keep it on my radar to just monitor what is going on right to see what's happening with uh, this project I've, I've added it to my watch list so this is my review of this project just let me know what do you think of this project right do you want to see more videos of this if you are interested just ensure that you subscribe to the channel thumbs up to the video then i know that there are people who are interested so we can even dive dive even deeper into the project try to find out who's behind it and uh all of that information right so thank you and i'll see you in the next one